So there's been a lot of talk about Power World ripping off Pokemon, and people are mad. Uh, mostly the people on Twitter. Everybody else doesn't give a sh flying. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, it's too early in the video to swear, but nobody else gives a rat's butt. All right. So we're gonna talk to not talk. We're gonna listen to a game designer talk about Power World and how Power World. It's just like every other game on the market that's been on the market for years to come. So let's get right into this video. So in case this goes viral or whatever and people see this video, mm -hmm. um, if you I'm watching it right now. I'm Mort. I'm a game designer. Mm -hmm. I've been a game designer for 19 years, 11 and a half at Nintendo, Damn. seven and a half at Riot. So I've been doing this a while. And I've seen a nice. lot of discourse online about Pal World and like what it means and people being like, oh my He's God, He's way AI smaller than I am. <laughs> freaking out it's been it's been pretty bad and what's really really disappointing is just how much misinformation is out there mm -hmm. um i'm also I, I don't know i'm personally tired of the news cycle that is i saw this trending tweet let me go make a youtube video about it Even Dude, i should start doing that actually somebody who has no <laughs> idea what they're talking about and then that gets perpetuated and it's just really disappointing yeah and so i wanted to take a second to talk about pal world and what it means for the game industry and its success and things like that and you know, maybe some ways you might consider feeling and things like that. So okay, I'm going to use paint to, to do it off with one of the things you have Gilbert. to do is, you know, those who don't study history are doomed to repeat it. And I know True. I'm old as a fact, I'm 40, I'm gray haired, whatever. Mm -hmm, that's a still a people fact. Maybe are younger and maybe this is their, their first dive into it. So True. let's talk about making a video game, right? Like, let's say it's the year, I don't know, 1991. Damn. And you're going to make a video game, right? Yep. So the first thing you do is you're going to pick like your engine, whether that stuff be like now. a console oh might be in the way. or whatever. And you're going to, you're going to pick your totally engine. Totally in the way. And you know, we're going to call it engine, engine. Look at that big old text. And I'm going to make Look it. Look at that. That text here. is tiny as shiz. Great. You got to make that text way bigger. Great. You got mm -hmm. your engine. Mm -hmm. You got, you know, you're going to make some characters. Okay. Some behavior. Yeah. And then you're going to make some levels okay, and stuff like that. And you're going to like a game is a bunch of different parts, right? It's a like a lot of parts, levels, characters, behavior, enemies, mm -hmm. stages, systems. So goalie. You've got a bunch of parts into game design. Yeah. Uh, maybe equipment, maybe items. It could be a bunch of various things. And a game is all of these different parts, right? And so we're just going to over another one on the very top. To crazy, bro. Here. Yeah. And again, this might be you know, level art, mm -hmm. it might be uh, level design. Yeah. And I'm oversimplifying here, but there's going to be a bunch of different parts. Um, okay. Characters. Characters make sense. Yeah. Uh, system design. System Actually, design. Do, uh, oh, before we do system design, let's say uh, behaviors. Behaviors. Okay. You know, the combat and stuff, I guess. AI, blah, Never mind. blah. Well, yeah. Let's do some systems design. Okay. And then maybe we do some like progression. Progression is good. And some That's menus, the most important part. Like that. And there you go. You menus. got a video game. You've you worked on all these, right? And yeah. all of these are done by different people. Back in the day, maybe a team of like eight or ten could put it all together. Nowadays, okay. if you want to go something big, like, I don't know, God of War Ragnarok, it gets a lot nuttier, right? And so True. all of these might have different employees working on different parts and things like that. Okay. Now, again, let's say it's uh, 1991 uh -huh. and uh, you've made a cool new game for the Super Nintendo called Street Fighter 2. You did it. You made Ooh, I do can You released the game to the world. <laughs> People are yeah. duking. I duking all the, the time. Storm. Yeah. Good job. You made a video game. That's, Good job, that's man. Great, right? Yep. Well, the challenge here is like, cool, you've made a video game. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Well, that's your game true. sells millions. And what happens immediately? Everyone People are going to start ripping it off, right? Some of that money. Yep. I'm going to do that too. Yep. Not really and ripping it off, but. Another fighting game. And for those of you that weren't around in like the 1990s, what happened was you ended up with stuff like this. And this is just an article titled uh, 15 90s Street Fighter 15. ripoffs. Yes, 15. That's a lot. And there were more than 15, right? Yeah. You got some body blows and some power moves mm -hmm. and fighting spirit. Mm -hmm. Clearly, clearly inspired. Inspired by, by fighting yep. games. Yep. And some of you might be thinking, well, that's that's terrible. 
It's actually not. No, no not it's really. Okay, yeah, right? it's Being fine. Inspired by another game yeah. is totally fine. Totally fine. As long as, and this is the important part, when you're making your own game called Power Spirit, you have to do all this work still. You got to pick yep. your engine, do mm -hmm. your level art, do your mm -hmm. level design, do your mm -hmm. characters. Mm -hmm. You might go, my character's name is uh, Bayou and and Jen, and they shoot Badukins. Badukins. No, not, not Badukin. <laughs> you have to kind of do the work yourself. Badukin. And the reason that's okay is because <laughs> innovation can happen if you're like willing to do it, right? Because something that does matter is all that matters is the end game is good. If the end game true. is good, that's that is what consumers care about. That's right? that is true. Let's 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 oh my goodness, let's pull up one second, I gotta do this. Let's pull up this. Uh I have it up here somewhere. I guess not. I'm stupid. No, it's right here. Oh well, look at this. On the first, look at this. On the top, 934, still 2 million peak, uh, 17, look at that, oh my god, 24 hour peak. I mean, still popular, that's all people care about, the end game product, and there's proof right there. And True, there was I agree. clone from this era that, you know, really stood out, um, Mortal Kombat, yep. right? Like, now, it looks like cut out paper differences, but it was clearly inspired. It does by have differences, Fighter, mm -hmm. but they took their own approach. They added their own hook. I like both games and killing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And it was great. It was freaking cool. Great, right? Yep. Mortal Kombat is a fun game inspired a series. It was good. Mm -hmm. Should we be mad that Mortal Kombat copied Street Fighter? No, obviously not. Obviously no. not. Right. Like, yeah, that's a good thing. It's very good. Totally fine. Uh, you know, without Street Fighter, Street there wouldn't be Mortal Kombat. Legends that yeah. was inspired dota by, yeah i mean you know, that was on dota. the freaking yeah so and then uh right? this is happening here's the storm the took league of legends all the time is that like, someone releases a game yeah other people are like that game was popular I yeah, you want to talk about you want to talk about stealing games uh blizzard is extremely good used to be extremely good at taking other ideas and other uh, basically ideas yeah other stuff from other people putting it into their game and then making it way better. Now they just lost touch with all that. That's not the same at all. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, they even have, um, oh, they have team fight tactics. Wait, is it team fight tactics? No, it's like team fight tactics. It's like team fight tactics, but it's with cards rather than actual like characters you can see. And they have that in Hearthstone because Team Fight Tactics, when it came out, took off. I actually play that game. I like that game. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I don't make a video of it any anymore. I think I have maybe one video on there, but I forget. But Team Fight Tactics, Blizzard saw that. They said, "Here's some money. Let's take that idea, put it into our game." And now they do like secret. You have to like unlock characters by paying for the characters, which is annoying. But there it is. I mean, people do it all the time. They take ideas all the time. The money. And they make their own spin. And what matters are doing is if you very well with it, but not anymore. Version, players will enjoy it, right? What matters hmm. is you did the work and you built the game. Yep. Now, True. second part here is building a game is a lot of work. It's it is. continued to be a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I can tell by so looking at this stack this right here. Every time you make a new game. No. Because man, imagine like you just shipped God of War. Mm -hmm. You've got all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Now you have to start over? Yeah, F that. that Bye. That <laughs> there are times yep. where you can take shortcuts, and shortcuts are good. Yeah. Let's talk about this game. I think this is a great game. Ocarina crap. of Time, right? Wow. Ocarina of Time, such a good game. Mm -hmm. We got to play it. I didn't it's play good. it. good. Yeah. Life is good. Life is good. No problem. Got it. Now, they just finished Ocarina of Time. What do they do? Do they start over? Brand new engine? No. No, of course There's not. There's no way. I mean, Call of Duty's, Call of Duty's been using the same engine for how long now? Like, they need to upgrade, dude. <laughs> they need to upgrade. What they do is they take that engine, they rearrange some pieces. If we go mm -hmm. back to our little diagram, maybe we get some new levels, you know, some new level art, but we keep the characters, we keep, keep some the of the behaviors, yeah. maybe some new systems design, yeah. a new progression, keep the same yeah. menu, keep the same keep the engine. the same menu. Yeah, you don't need to you change know, the menu. The menu's good. A lot Unless of the, the menu's bad. And that's a good yeah. thing, right? It's good. It is. Because what? we get... Majora's Mask. Ooh. Sweet. I don't know what Can't that is. <laughs> That's great. Game devs should be taking these shortcuts, right? So that they should. They make more games to the products and make yes. really cool games. Yes. And again, as long as the game is good, mm -hmm. 
No problem. No problem. Elden Ring. Elden Ring's another great example of this, right? That's like, true. Did Elden Ring get started from scratch? No. No, of course no. not. You can tell because just by looking at it. They had a lot of work and learnings from Bloodborne. Yep. And they had a lot of work and learnings from Dark Souls, right? Everything yep. is sort of a level up. A level I want to play that game, but I suck. <laughs> so I really awesome don't. <laughs> a lot of game devs kind of make the same games over and over, like the same Over time. and over. Yep. It's because they have all their learnings. They yeah. don't have to start this process over. Mm -hmm. every single time every right? single time having some of those shortcuts to help speed up game development mm -hmm. that's a good thing that's good right? yep. imagine trying for made it to sell it you know trying to jump into a different space that's hard right so yeah. anything you can do to speed this up this is a good thing mm. also for those who don't know i'm the tft lead designer and oh. there was this game called league of legends and we took the engine we took a couple shortcuts because we had some of the character designs done and i mean i do like team fight tactics was. We made Team Fight Tactics. I like that game a lot. Cool. I don't know how to play it or what I'm doing, All but this is a good thing, right? <laughs> if I get top five, I'm good enough. The end of the day <laughs> is players are looking for good games. That's you it. You gotta make good games. Make a Development good game. Development can be hard. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. anything you can do to speed up that process to get more good games out there, usually a good thing. Usually. But. Oh crap. Here's a where but. it gets a little tricky. Snap. There has been this concept because, again, what matters in the industry for a lot of devs, not all, but a lot, okay. is you go where the money is, right? The second yeah. anything is popular, guess what? There are going what? to be clones. There are going to be copies like we talked about with the Street Fighter. Yep. And again, as long as you're making your own, totally fine. I get totally it. fine. Yep. There's been a common strategy called reskins. That's uh, a very yeah. common thing is like someone will, especially as uh, things have gotten a little easier to develop with engines, mm -hmm. where you release a game, say on mobile, like maybe you have a, a hero collector on mobile. You release it. Oh my God, we're going to talk about mobile games. Well. You take it, Ooh. you keep all the same stuff, the progression, yeah. the enemy AI, the behaviors, the menus, the engine, the level art, and like maybe you change a character and that's it. Yeah, just change a little character, yeah. Release it again, yeah. And you see if that does well. And you yeah. do this over and over and over in the mobile space. It's very common. Just change the character? be the one to get Damn. players' eyes and get that money. Yeah. Because again, it circumvents 90% of the work to do that. And it's a very common thing. How common is it? Well, if you go to Fiverr, Damn. yeah, you pay $55 for somebody to reskin a game for me. Wow. <laughs> I mean... It's a little it's a little gross it's a little gross if that's all the effort you're willing to put in reskin at the end of the day what does matter is Damn. the end product right and so you're probably not going to get a high quality what if i should do that with a 55 dollars reskin but mm -hmm. there are shortcuts a lot of shortcuts now, apparently this is kind of a quick history lesson so you might be going what what does all of this have to do with pal world okay mm -hmm. now i like history lessons from though. this point on is my speculation okay as a game developer as someone okay. who's been doing this for a while okay i'm just going off what i see and what i understand and how games are made okay. i'm going to show you something what are you going to show me pal world's previous game was called craftopia that's true it was and yep. i don't know about you guys but this is the start of craftopia i mean it looks pretty similar big for you make it real big and this is how the game starts yeah, and it looks say, looks the same yeah yeah some long Walking stairs that's a lot Not of freaking deal. stairs you got there sir and when you reach the top of the stairs uh-huh this happens okay what what did you do i don't know why this went back what did you do you turn you look at the character uh-huh you look at a vista uh-huh huh and the title appears oh huh that's interesting that's interesting that's very interesting that's uh, it's pretty similar. And then oh look, similar, there's yeah. a there's a tent over there. Oh, cool. What are the tent? Now what? the reason we... I bring this up. What the hell? Is because, again, if we go back to clones and you're doing all the work yourself, that makes yeah. sense. It does. And if I said, hey Mort, go make a game and copy Breath of the Wild, but you're doing it from scratch Ooh. to get that exact same vista, that exact same layout. That's actually pretty hard to it's do. Gonna, from yeah, scratch. the exact same. But Good luck. You have the source, and you're reskinning. It's pretty damn easy. That's true. Yeah. What I'll say is that looked pretty damn easy. So 
that's a little gross, you know? And so the fact that they can basically go, hey, thank you, you know, Nintendo or whoever for this, this is mine now, and I'm going to make some stuff on mm. top of it. That's a little weird. That is a that's little, a little weird. weird. Uh -oh. But here's the important thing. Yeah. What I will say is even if they did that, right? Let's say I'm right for a second, and they're like, mm -hmm. yoink, this is mine now. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the heck you do that. That's impressive. They did on top of it. Yeah. Is really good. It's really, really good. Right? That's true, yeah. Where you can run around and pick up a Firefox and shoot it as a flamethrower. It's, it's dope as shit. I mean, what? It's what a dope as hell. Pals and like chop them up and capture humans and Pokeballs. It's, it's fun. fun. <laughs> it's a good game. Yep. The end result is a great game. Two it thumbs is. way up. It's good. Yep. So I agree. Like, I ain't arguing. I ain't arguing. Game? No. No. It's really good. Mm -hmm. All the work they did in this section here, thumbs up. Just thumbs up. Great A, awesome work. All I'm saying is this part here, pretty sketch. And here's the crazy thing. Let's say, let's say again, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But let's say I'm right. Okay. What happens is we see Pal World success. And again, game devs go where the money is. They do. This will become. It's going to be the, the next. This will become yeah. the norm. Yep. So this will become, hey, you know what the easiest way to gonna do It's going to be another Pokemon-like PAL game. Don't do all this. It's find something else. Take its section and add a little on top. And that's what we're going to get a lot of. Yep. And I know I know there's a certain bald streamer that, like, has been, had some <laughs> yeah. really strong feelings about it. <laughs> yeah. But I also know this bald streamer really didn't like back in the day where there was a $25 horse. And that $25 horse kind of snowballed into some pretty interesting parts of our industry, didn't it? That's true. So I'm just saying, be really careful when you're like, this is what I want because the snowball might not be the best thing. If we're going to reward people just going, yoink, I don't know. That scares the crap out of me. That scares the crap out of me. So, so that's it. And the thing is, I know there's one other component of this, which everyone's going to talk about, which is AI, right? Like using AI to sheet some of this. Yeah. And the reality is AI is a tool. AI is it's going a tool to be, that can be yeah. used poorly yep. and it can be used well. Yep. Uh, you know, there are going to I be. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Anyone that's complaining about AI going into games, um, you got to adapt, man. Like you have to adapt. So you got to figure out how to use that AI to get the AI to do it for you because it's just going to happen. All right. It's going to happen. Ways to do it right, ways to do it wrong. Mm -hmm. But really, all of it comes back to if you take somebody else's work, that's where it gets a little gross, right? Because the people who did that work are incentivized to do that work for the rewards. Oh, if there are okay. no longer rewards, yeah. you're not really incentivized to do this anymore. And so what you could end oh. up with is a lot less interesting games in the future. So that's kind of my quick spiel. Damn. Uh, but yeah, as, as far as evidence goes, there are things like this that really bother me here. Noise blast here for a second, but bear with me. Bearing with? Uh, okay. Let me rewind a second. That, I... Yeah. Well, of course it's gone. Anyway, the sound when you find a new area yeah. is basically the same sound as you find a new area here. It's like the exact same. It's the exact thing. same. That's true. Like that. Really scary. The Legend of Zelda. So there you go. I don't know. Making games cool, inspired by other games cool, but in my opinion, you got to do the work yourself. Mm. That's the important part to me. That is the important part, yeah. LDR. Power World's a pretty good game, but It is. I don't know, man. So there you go. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, it's one thing to like get inspired by a game and then go out and com make a completely different game. With some stuff. But it's another to just completely take it and push it over. That's true. Hmm. Did I miss something here? And they make K is because it was good. Imagine, like, you just shipped God of War. You've got all this stuff. 
and now you have to start over? Mm -hmm. That that sounds terrible. There are times where you can take shortcuts, and shortcuts are good. Let's talk about this game. I think this is a great game. Ocarina, play it over behaviors. It is, because we get Majora's Mask. Sweet. We get another game. That's great. Game devs should be taking these shortcuts, right? So that they can make more games to the products and make really cool games. And again, as long as the game is good, no problem. No problem. Elden Ring. Elden okay, but he's talking about shortcuts, though. This is just another shortcut, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be just another shortcut? Elden Ring's another great example of this, right? Like... And they had a lot of work and learnings from Dark Souls, right? Everything is sort of a level up, a learning, things like that. It's also why you often see a lot of game devs kind of make the same games over and over, like the same type, is because they have all their learnings. They don't have to start this process over. And okay. So I'm a little confused now because if taking it, and just shifting it over. Just cut it out and then shift it. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I'm not a hundred percent understanding this. Cause like, he's going to talk about shortcuts and shortcuts are good. But if they just take it and pour it over, I mean, shortcuts are still good though. Right? every mm. single time right having some of those shortcuts to help speed up game development that's a good thing yeah so if someone else already did it why don't i just take it and then port it over right imagine trying to be you know trying to jump into a different space that's hard right so anything you can do to speed this up this is a good thing also for those who don't know i'm the team okay the rewards you're not really reality is ai is a tool ai is a tool that can be used so that's it and the thing is i know there's one other this is what i want because the snowball might not be the best and game devs go where the money is and here's the crazy thing let's say let's say again maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong i don't know but let's say i'm right what happens is we see Pal World success. And again, game devs go where the money is. Mm -hmm. This will become the action. This will become the norm. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure that like even people on Steam that make um, early access games, like you could put most of those side by side and be like, yeah, they just copied and fucking whatever, right? Like, um, most of those games do trash because the developers have no idea what the fuck they're doing uh, for the most part. Or it's just some random guy that thinks he knows anyway. Just some random BS to try and get you to sell something to buy it. It's mostly stupid. But like, I don't, I don't see the problem. If you're going to like... If you're going to talk about how speeding up the process is good then how come you can't just take someone else's process and put it over and then build on top of that process? I don't, I don't fully understand, you know, because he says that the process is good, but then complains that they didn't make the process themselves. I, I'm not a hundred percent understanding this entire thing right here. So speeding up process, good copying someone else's speed process to build on top of that bad i have no idea what to think about this now <laughs> i mean i'm gonna be honest i mean at the end of the day all i want is a good game and if power world just cut out and poured it over and they made a good game then at the end of the day that's all i want i don't care what the build-up process is I don't care how many stacks you want to put on there so long as the end product is good. And like I said, th like the charts prove 
that the end product is good. It doesn't matter what the bald man says because everybody else agrees that this game is good, right? So if that's what the market wants, that's what the market is going to get. I personally really don't care as long as there's no like, as long as it's like, you know, don't, don't bring any laws now to do it, but like, we don't want that. <laughs> okay. Um, but if that's what you got to do to do it, then just do it. Like, I, I really don't care <laughs> straight up, straight up. Don't care because the game is good and uh, I, I like the game, right? I like the game. So, but he even says that he cop he copied something to make TFT. Thing, right? Because all that matters at the end of the day is players are looking for good games. Yeah. You gotta make good games. Yeah. Development can be hard. Yeah. And anything you can do to speed up that process to get more good games out there, usually a good thing. Okay, so I, I don't understand what the problem is then. I don't I don't get it. And, and things like that. And guess what? We made Team Fight Tactics and we took the engine. We took a couple shortcuts because we had some. See, and then he admits to taking a couple things and then porting it over. Character designs done and things like that. And guess what? And then you made Team Fight Tactics. Tactics. Yeah. Is basically the same sound as you find a new area here. It's like. The is it? They did change the sound, though it's not the same sound. I can under let's listen. I can understand if. They're going to copy like every single thing. I can understand why people get mad. You know what I mean? Like they make new characters, but they copy um, the sounds and like the visuals and whatever else. But like at the, at the same time, I mean, as long as it follows um, the law, basically of, of as long as they're not infringing on copyright, I, I don't care. Like I straight up don't care. All I'm saying is that it doesn't matter what anyone does so long as a it's not like the exact same as long as it's not like you know like here's pikachu in this game here's pikachu in this game not even pokemon you know what i mean so as long as as long as it does as long as it follows the copyright laws and you don't get sued for it which if you do that's a you problem i straight up don't care okay if people want to copyright sounds and um music and stuff like that and uh, then i guess do it because we're going down this path of just people copying like you can you can listen like turn on the radio like just turn on the freaking radio you can hear songs copying other songs and they've been doing that they've been doing that for years too like you have let's let's see this that's that's the song yeah so you have i mean you have i'm blue and you got i'm good blue like you can listen to them side by side, exact same, different words. I mean, we're, this is, we're going down this road of copying and people like the song. A lot of people like the song. A lot of people, let's click it. Thanks, man. A lot of people like that song. A lot of people like this song way more though, <laughs> which I agree. I like this song way more too, but like, that's just how it is. People copying other people or just like, I don't see what the problem is. Just sell it. Just be like, here you go. You can have all this and everything else we don't sell. We legally own. You cannot put in your game. So if you want to make a sound, a copyright thing, then go ahead. Like, go ahead. Be like, hey, you copied our little melody for when finding a new area. Uh, we want you to take that out of the game or we're going to sue you. Like, if that's the road we got to go down, then I guess that's the road we got to fucking go down. But I, I, do we really want to go down that road? Like, are we, are we really going to go down that road? <laughs> Cause like damn, uh, but that's that's my that's my thought on it. Um, basically, if it if it's easier for you, well, I mean, if it speeds up the process of a game developing, then that's fine. And if you build on top of that process that's already there, that's also like I don't see a problem with it. You know, as long as it's relatively different than what you're trying to copy, that's fine. Um. But if it's copied like exactly frame for frame, pixel for pixel, that's when we have an issue. So there it is. That's what I think about it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.